What's up everybody? It's me Chris and on today's Logo Critique Breakdown I want to share with you three concepts that will make you a better designer. Hard to believe but true. Today's Logo Critique features Jelvin Bass who we brought in as a special guest to help me critique. We've selected three Logo Critiques. Each one will relate to one of these concepts. Critiquing process, simplicity, and research. Now I'm going to play the clips. Afterwards, We'll go a little bit more in depth with these three concepts and how to use them to improve your design. Okay, this one was submitted by Cody James Rabel. I really like the direction of this logo, but uh, this is paperclip, from, right? Yeah, paperclip. Yeah. And then there's a paperclip in there. So, just a little correction, like that, I would do is to use another typeface instead of this thick, thicker typeface. So. So what did Jelvin do? He picked a typeface that was more complementary to the form itself. He just happens to know that Able is going to work because it has certain kind of round forms. And so what we talk about is like repetition and contrast. The contrast is it's the paper clip. The repetition is we share similar letter form drawing kind of arcs, right? So it, it shares that. And then he started making decisions about how do I make this read better? So the eye needs to be pulled apart, which he started to break that. And then he started to break the top of the paper clip to the bottom. And I think this is one of those logos where you can read and then you go like, wait a minute, I think there's a paper clip in there. Mm -hmm. And that is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. This is a company called Top Story. So Roberto, good job on this one. There's some good things in here and there's some busted up things. The T and the S, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot, that's really handsome. It's bold, it's geometric. These three other elements feel like they're not even talking to each other. This seems like a dysfunctional family where the father doesn't talk to the mother nor the cousin or the kid or anything like that. Nobody's talking to anybody. The TM is too far away. The top story is a totally different typeface and it's in black and it's upper lowercase where everything else is uppercase. And then you have leader in world news as all lowercase in gray. Can you get a more kind of weird mishmash of things going on? Simplify, simplify, simplify. Yep. This is from Zachary Black. Did a mark, another lion. My feeling is this. I like these kind of monoline logos, like a single weight, mm -hmm. but here's the problem. I just think the lion is such a majestic animal. It's king of the jungle. And the proportion of the lion's head to the body to his feet feel really funny to me. It's almost like one of those bobblehead characters and it's not working for me, okay? So I think I would love for you to take this exact same style and your illustration skills and rebalance it. Like we wanted something that feels really regal and majestic, right? Yeah. That's a nice one. There's a couple things in there. So the, probably the first step is just to look at what's been done, just to kind of see how other people solve the same problem. But here's what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? You don't need the body. Okay. So I would delete the body and really build the mane of the lion mm -hmm. and make sure that the lion's head reads. So we probably need to look at some references for a lion head in the profile view. Okay, so first off, I'd like to point out that although Jelvin is a great designer, calligrapher, and letterform artist, his critiquing style could use a little work. I look at critiquing like a train. The first car is the logo, the cause of this critique. The last car, the caboose, is the things that we need to fix. I start my critiques by simply describing what I'm seeing, what's clearly there, the typefaces, shapes, colors, no judgments. Let's just take it all in. Then I start to notice how certain things make me feel and I describe them using phrases like this feels out of place or well, I like this. We're getting closer to the caboose and I feel like I could start getting a little bit more critical. I point out things that aren't working and why. The second critique focus on the concept of simplicity. There were too many different things going on and there was no interplay or cohesion between all the elements. The solution? Simplify. Use less typefaces, fewer point sizes, and fewer colors. A good technique I use is to hide everything when I know it's not working and start adding back things one element at a time. Before I start designing anything, I go on the internet and look at what's been done before. I try to find contextual references, research history, literature, films, photography, whatever. Just look at stuff and let your brain soak it in. Don't forget to go to the source. If, for example, you're designing a lion head logo, look at photos and videos of real lions. Go to the zoo and stare at one. Or better yet, go on a safari and stock it for a week. The more research you do, the deeper you go, the better 
your thing will be. At Pixar, they spend months researching every aspect of their movies. To prepare for Ratatouille, several members of the team flew to France and spent two weeks visiting kitchens and interviewing their chefs. They even trudged through the Paris sewers where many a rat makes his home. When it was decided that Carl Fredrickson's balloon-propelled house, John... When it was decided that Carl Fredrickson's balloon propelled... Like, maybe just say that, that Fredrickson. I feel like you're Fredrickson. Okay. When it was decided that Carl Fredrickson's balloon-propelled house would sail to the mountains of South America and up, John Lasseter, chief creative officer of Pixar, sent a group of artists to Venezuela to see the mountains up close. Not only that, but an ostrich was brought into Pixar's headquarters to inspire the animators who were modeling the giant bird. This is what makes their movies great. I hope you enjoyed this video and you feel like you're a better designer than you were five minutes ago. If you want to submit your logo for a critique, here's how. Go to Facebook, find our page, The Future Is Here, Futures Without an E, and look for posts that are calling for your submission. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button. See you guys next time.